All right. Hello everyone, my name is Greg. Welcome to my channel. If you're just coming in for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so anytime I drop a new video, you're going to get notified. Today's dish, we're going to be preparing um, Cripsy dried potatoes, the way KFC and Chicken Public used to make theirs. So we're done. This is the final stage. Take it, take a bite. Final stage. This is them looking all crispy and dry. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so anytime I post a video, you get notified. And if you have not watched my, my previous videos, I'll be dropping a link in the description button in the description below so you could check out my previous video. Um, for today's meal, these are the I'll be introducing the ingredients we are going to be using for our meal. So this is corn flour. If you don't have corn flour, you can use normal baking flour. This is your salt. This is your potatoes. Irish potatoes or you could use sweet potatoes. This for me here is vinegar. Let's see. Then my tomato and my egg. So we proceed with the peeling of the back of the potatoes. Then we now after peeling it, then we now cut it into smaller, smaller pieces. Alright. So I'm done with peeling. Make it small into small bits so it'll be easy for it to fry so i'm going to apply my vinegar in it make sure you watch every process you'll be wondering what this vinegar is going to do for it don't put so much vinegar because it slaps when you taste it and put water inside I'm going to soak it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let's see. All right. So now, after 10 minutes, you go sieve out the water. Okay. Okay. The clothes to dry it. No, it's not good to put hot, put something that has water in it into hot oil so it won't be splashing. And while you're watching, if you have not subscribed, can you turn can you click on the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell. So anytime I post a video, you get notified. To add a small pinch of salt to give it a little taste. Then proceed by adding two spoons of the corn flour, or you can add one, depends on the quantity of the chips you want to fry. And now start shaking it so it go around the fry. Pack them out. I think they are looking all crunchy and dry. But you can be here to test it. Mm. 